Take the shape of Shavasana, lying on the earth. A pillow might rest underneath your head, a bolster underneath the knees. Thin blanket might cloak your body. And an eye pillow rests on your eyes. Arms extend out either side with the palms facing up. Legs are hip width distance apart. And the eyes fall heavy into their sockets as the lids close. Let's take a deep breath in together, fill up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Inhale, fill up, receive the breath. Exhale, sigh it out. One more together, inhale. And this time holding at the top of the inhale, holding, holding, holding at the top of the inhale. Holding at the top of the inhale and now sigh it out, really let something go. As your body fully surrenders, and falls heavy into the earth that is beneath you. And with each exhale, allowing your body to collapse and fall heavier and heavier. As the space between the eyebrows starts to increase. And the personality structure of the face melts away. And the fingers unfurl. The jaw softens. And the skin and the muscle drape heavier and heavier over the bones. Now begin the practice of yoga nidra. And through the practice of yoga nidra, we meet the waters that are within, submerge into the inner realms, the space in between where all potentials can be reclaimed where all lost pieces can come to the surface and alchemize back into the bones. And the only ask of you in this practice of complete stillness is that you stay linked to the thread of my voice and allow it to hold you in the space in between, submerged in the inner realms, open to possibilities, in the space in between where the physical body is almost asleep. However, the mind is just barely awake. Breath is the portal, the guide to the well of wisdom that is within. And allowing the breath to start to flood and wash through every part of your physical form. As you start to breathe your whole body, from the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes, every space in between. As you fully breathe your whole body. And 
the breath washes and floods over the face, the head, the chest, the torso, the arms, the hands. This breath floods to the fingertips, and the legs, the feet. This breath floods and washes through the whole body. Each piece of your physical form receiving the breath, being washed by the breath. As the breath takes away anything that is no longer necessary, as any stuck energy or stagnation is cleared. The layers start to fall away. keep you separate from the truth that is within. Now draw your next inhale through the third eye chakra, the space between the eyebrows. As you inhale through the third eye, Exhale through the whole face. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the center of the throat. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the center of the heart. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the palms of the hands. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the navel. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the soles of the feet. Inhale through the third eye. Exhale through the crown of the head. Inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale through the soles of the feet. Inhale through the soles of the feet. Exhale through the crown of the head. Inhale through the crown of the head. Exhale through the soles of the feet. Staying with this breath as you thread the breath. From the crown of the head to the soles of the feet. From the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. Allowing the breath to pierce and penetrate through every crevice in between. As you thread the breath from the crown of the head to the soles of the feet the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. Now drawing your next inhale through the whole front side of the body. You inhale through the whole front side of the body. Exhale through the whole back side of the body. So you inhale through the whole front side of the body. Exhale through the back side of the body. Staying with this breath as you thread the breath. The whole front side of the body back side of the body. As you inhale through the front side of the body, exhale through the back side of the body, allowing a deeper surrender to take place as you release each exhale and fully surrender to the gravitational pull of the mother.
honing the breath in to be received just at the center of the heart. As you inhale through the center of the heart and tuning to the vast ocean that resides at the center of your holy heart. As you inhale through the center of the heart, exhale through the back of the heart. Inhaling through the front of the heart. Exhaling through the back of the heart. Inhaling through the front of the heart. Exhaling through the back of the heart. Let's count the breaths down from 33 to 1. Mentally counting each breath from 33 to 1. And if you lose count, coming back to 33 and starting again. Mentally counting each breath from 33 to 1. If you lose count, coming back to 33 and starting again. Mentally counting each breath from 33 to 1. Starting now. Sankalpa, 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 your I am statement, allowing it to form from the ocean that is within, the pearl, the jewel that resides deep within, allowing it to reveal itself, your Sankalpa, your I am statement, your positive, concise resolve. That is being awakened from the well that is within, the ocean that resides within the heart. Now mentally repeating your Sankhalpa over and over and over again. minimum of three times. Mentally repeating your Sankhalpa over and over and over again. A minimum of three times. Now.
shift your awareness to the crown of the head. And infuse the crown with your presence and your awareness. And witnessing a golden healing light take form at the crown of the head. As you open yourself to receive guidance of the highest resonance. Presence and awareness and the golden healing light moves to the pineal gland. Feel the awakening of the pineal gland. Right eyeball, left eyeball, both eyes together, both eyes in a golden healing light. Nose, right cheek, left cheek, upper lip, lower lip, the whole face in a golden healing light, the whole face. This arrow of awareness moves to the center of the throat, collarbone, right chest, left chest, center of the heart, upper abdomen, lower abdomen, base of the pelvic bowl, as the golden healing light weaves around to thread and arrive the hip creases of both legs as simultaneously the light descends to the quadriceps knees shins ankles extending all the way to the tips of all ten toes and wrapping around to the soles of the feet Ascending up the backs of the legs to the calves, hamstrings, buttocks, lower back, upper back, shoulder blades, back of the neck, back of the skull, crown of the head. The golden healing light washes over the face and arrives at the shoulders of both arms as the light simultaneously descends to the biceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, extends all the way to the tips of all ten fingers, and wraps around to the palms of the hands. The light ascends back up the arms to arrive at the shoulders and weave and thread to meet at the center of the heart. Golden healing light at the center of the heart. Witnessing as this golden healing light transforms into a shimmering ocean. Each inhale and exhale, this shimmering ocean expands and expands to fully hold you, your physical body, your auric field, held in this shimmering ocean of light. You are fully held in this shimmering ocean of light. Now 
witnessing as this shimmering ocean of light hones back in to reside at the center of the heart. An arc extends from the center of the heart to the third eye. A golden arc of light from the center of the heart to the third eye. An arc of light from the center of the heart to the crown of the head. Arc from the heart to the womb space. Another arc from the heart to the soles of the feet. Arc from the soles of the feet to the crown of the head. The left hand to the right hand. The left foot to the right foot. The soles of the feet to the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. Now allow your awareness to arrive at the space between the eyebrows, the third eye chakra. The cheetah cash. And as you rest your awareness in this blank space, I will guide you through rapid image visualization. And as I name an image, imagine, see, feel, and direct your attention entirely towards creating this visualization. And then allow it to fall back into the emptiness that created it as quickly as it formed. And the half moon illuminating the sky, the tumultuous sea, mermaids on a rock, the Isle of Women, Song of the Sea, a black pearl on the bottom of the ocean, the boundless mystic submerged in the well of wisdom, Song of the Sea, a chalice overflowing, divine union, the selkie skin, a rugged coastline, and the smell of the sea, ace of cups, swimming amongst the wild, enveloped in mist, floating on the Salish Sea, reclaiming what has been lost, reclaiming what has been lost. Reclaiming what has been lost. Now come back to the image of the mermaids on the rock. And as you hone in deeper and deeper to the mermaids on the rock, you see yourself one of them. You see yourself, the mermaid, the selkie on the rock, and the one who is ready to reclaim her skin, to reclaim all that has been lost. You see her face, your face, her scales, her skin, mermaid, the selkie that resides within you. As you see yourself amongst the mermaids on the rock. And the sea all around. Moody and dark. Illuminated by the half moon. energy and essence that is holding you as one by one you submerge into the waters that surround you your sisters with you the selkies in the sea As 
you dive and dance and weave and thread through the waters. You see the sisters that are with you and your soul family that is gathered many lifetimes as you dance amongst the wild in the seas of the soul in the song of the sea the selkies as you dance with your sisters as you submerge deeper and deeper into the waters into the well of wisdom your soul family starts to gather with you say plunge the depths with you who's with you the guides the sisters the brothers the soul family that is submerged in the waters with you you plunge deeper and deeper into the depths you start to see the pieces of you that have been lost archetypes and the ones that are within that are ready to be reclaimed and awakened inner child Empress, wild woman, sensual, alive feminine, the pleasure portal, allowing the pieces that are wanting to be reclaimed to reveal themselves as they swim and dance around you. As you start to reclaim all that has been lost, all that has been suppressed, shamed, shunned, and bound, and the facets of the self, as they dance in a woven thread all around you, what is wanting to be reclaimed? Come back into unity with all aspects of who you are. The sexual, primal, wild, authentic aspects of the self that are ready to be reclaimed. The selkie that has found her skin. these facets dance around you, seeing them, acknowledging them, witnessing them, adoring them. As one by one, they start to alchemize into the bones of you, into the mermaid, into the selkie. And that is deep within the waters of the wild. all aspects of the self are interwoven into the skin of the selkie the skin of the self you plunge deeper and deeper into the waters in the depths that are beneath you you see six glistening golden shells embedded into the sand to the floor of the sea. Six golden shells. As you come closer and closer, you reach out to the shells. One by one, you start to 
turn the shells over. As each shell reveals to you an inner truth that is wanting to be embodied, dream a vision that is wanting to be experienced in the physical form. Turn each shell over. A vision is revealed. A truth, a dream that is wanting to be experienced in the physical form. And you collect the six shells, the six golden shells that have revealed the dreams, the visions that are wanting to be formed in your physical reality. As you gather the shells and place them in the pouch that hangs around your neck, As you slowly start to swim to the surface, as you follow the light that is glistening through the waters, and the selkie in the sea, and swim all the way to the surface, the golden shells and the pouch that resides around your neck. closer and closer to the surface of the sea and your sisters gathering around you once again as you all climb back on the rocks the gathering of the women the mermaids the selkies on the rocks the chalice that sits at the center as you each pour your golden shells into the holy chalice into the cauldron the chalice alchemizes your visions into your physical form as you all place your shells in the chalice in the cauldron witness as the landscape all around you starts to form into the vision that you all hold together the people the places the gatherings the soul family united all around you as the landscape shifts and alchemizes the visions and dreams that you all hold for your physical form. As the soul family comes into unity and everything is abundant, harmonious, filled with pleasure, romance, a love, unity, And the visions of the earth that is in alignment with your soul with your soul family and deeply experiencing and embodying the soulful union with the earth with life vast and abundant feeling it deeply in your body do you see in this vision? What do you feel? What do you hear? What do you taste? What do you smell? Fully experiencing this vision, the earth that you are holding. The experience that is forming in the physical.
One by one, the selkies plunge back into the sea. As you plunge back into the sea and swim all the way to the ocean that resides within your heart, your holy heart, as you come back into your physical form, as you plunge all the way to your holy heart, and drop into its rhythm, its pulse. Mentally repeat your Sankhalpa over and over and over again, a minimum of three times. Now, mentally repeating your Sankhalpa over and over and over again, a minimum of three times. Now. Witnessing the blood that pulsates from your heart and threads and weaves through the rivers that reside within your body as the blood pulsates from your heart throughout your physical form. Becoming aware of the breath, flooding in and flooding out. The sensations inside your skin, and the tuning to the sensations on top of your skin, the temperature of the space, the clothing on your body, and the sounds far off in the distance, and the vibration of my voice. Tuning to all that is around you as you start to become fully embodied again. The inner and outer realms in union. And the left and the right brain hemispheres in sync. And the selkie within awakened. Bringing the softest movement into your fingers. So you gently come to rest onto your right side in the fetal position, and submerging into the ocean within. A gentle stillness that pulsates within the waters that are within you. coming all the way up to seated. Eyes stay closed. Left hand lands on your heart, right on your womb space. And the practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Haryam Tatsat. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is.